Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Counterside video. Today's video, Shadow Palace 5. I think some of you guys have been asking me to make guides for this. I don't know if I ever did Shadow Palace 4, but I think I did on my main channel. You guys can search it up, it should be there. Let's talk about Shadow Palace 5 today. I have been uh, waiting for this a little bit because I know a lot of you guys want to know how to beat this Shadow Palace 5. Recently, Global just got this, so hopefully this can help you guys out. I promise I will use characters that's only available to the Global server. Alright, so let's jump into the first one. This is going to be a little bit tough because I do have Castro Xiaolin right here, and I don't have the regular Xiaolin. But I'm guessing the uh, procedure stands the same. So, of course, Awaken Jake, you gotta replace with uh, other defenders, uh, depending on who you have. If you have Awaken Hilde, go with Awaken Hilde, uh, depending on who you have. Alright, so let me just use my Awaken Hilde level 102. Now, Serapel is actually bad in the Shadow Palace. Uh, I don't know why a lot of people seem to think that Serapel is good in PvE, but in this stage, you will see, if you use her, she's gonna get pushed back like crazy to where your supporters uh, rangers are and then they are all going to die at the same time. Serapel having zero evasion is a big problem. I highly recommend Liumi over Serapel if you, if you have her. This is why I don't like Serapel, man. Her evasion is just too low, so she always gets pushed back like that. I think this is a fail run. So this is going to be much more of a standard strat. You use two defenders, right? So as you can see, we have Xiaolin, uh, Liumi, and then Rosaria, Yang Harim, and then Shieldman because Liumi will die. So I like this strat better because this strat gives you much more flexibility. Serapel gets pushed back unlike Liumi. This is why I like Liumi, because high evasion. She doesn't get pushed back. Look at this. She will never get knocked back because of this. Alright, so we got the Kim Hana Operator, very important. So this new Ahayo can silence, which is very, very good. Do I still have shield man? I still have one of my shield man right there. One of my shield man is still there. So now Adele is out, so hopefully... Maybe we should swap Adele and Xiaolin. So that way it's better. Wait, what happened to my Adele? Oh crap, the Adele just died. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, this silence is gonna be so good. Very, very good. That silence is very, very good. Okay, Lyudmi la. I guess uh, if you want to, you can bring other snipers as well. Now this is not like a strat for you to get high score, but just for you to pass the stage, alright? So just keep in mind, uh, I think we're doing well, but Adele is still dead. So if you want to, you can always redeploy, uh, since Adele is, you know, Adele is dead, so you can try and get her back. Did Rosaria out backwards? No. The ship skill has insane CC. Insane, alright? So that's something that's crazy. Uh, again, I know my Xiaolin is the Awakened version, but I think you can still use to full success the non... I mean, did I say Awakened? I mean Rearm. The Rearm version. Yeah, so you can still use the regular Xiaolin. Replace Liu Mi with Xiao Yun. Alright, let's jump into the second one. So, Liu Mi, uh, we have... Doesn't matter who's the leader. I think you can always set her as leader, doesn't matter. So, Carl Wong, uh, Yuna, uh, Yang Harim. You can use Kim Hana as well for this one, right? Kim Hana, Enterprise for this one. You don't need uh, New Ohio. And then, uh, if you want to make your life easy, I do recommend... Oh, wait, you can't use Sniper. You cannot bring Adele. So, yeah, this is going to be... The go-to. Ifrit, Rosaria, uh, and then you have Seo at the end. So I think this is like pretty much fixed. Um, I do think this is a optimal strat right here. Eventually you're going to replace with Sky Layfield, which is also going to be quite good. Okay, so Leo Mi is going to be... Hopefully you your guys have... Okay, I need to show my gears as well. So at least what I have on my Leo Mi, right? My Liumi barely survived that. She dies at the end. Unfortunate. Uh, but as long as... It, she doesn't have to live through the end. 
uh, because you'll have Yuna. But if you have like 110 Leomi and tankier gears than me, I think this is going to be super easy. That pushback is crazy. Okay, Evelyn can heal everyone, which is uh, the important part. Okay, hopefully now I think you will see the yeah that Lee Suyon is going to spawn at the back, which is a little bit annoying. So hopefully. Liumi dying is kind of part of the plan so that she comes and tank afterwards. Haha! -ha. <laughs> because she, she will spawn. This Li Suyon will spawn at the back. So Yuna destroy the ship, Liumi distract her. That's the plan. That is the plan. Alright, hopefully Yuna don't go to the left. It always works for me. I have tested this. This always works for me. Uh, it never failed. Of course, I stopped using Liumi. I was using Rian Esterosa as opposed to her. But hey, it's still viable strat throughout oh yeah let me show you statistics very important this is for room 2 again you cannot use Adele for room 2 room 3 but Kawang will always have this my Kawang was always at 56% skill haste so this one uh, as you can see I'm using Lina McKenzie here Enterprise this is just for Ranger Supporter Striker so Kawang we have Adele with I'm using attack speed here attack speed uh, this is the stats Okay, so and then we have Lycoris with Skill Haze. Lycoris is good, 2 cost, very cheap, very cheap. Veronica with um, as much anti-ground damage as you can. I keep getting asked about what gears to use of Veronica. Any Spectral gears is going to be good. I prefer Spectral Spirit, right? Uh, Chifuyu with HP Defense, I need her to tank right here. These are the stats. And then we have uh, Admin, Swords Fighter, HP Evasion. I like HP Evasion on them. Very good budget version. Skill Haze on Seoyun. And Shinja with Spectral, whatever, and Attack. Okay, so let's jump into this. You can use Shinja first and Seoyun first, doesn't matter. Okay, so Carl Wong, Adele. This is because we want to cast as many babies as we can. Veronica come out later. So this one is a Yubin. Notice it's a Yubin right here. You want to get rid of Yubin as fast as you can. So that's Lycoris out. Lycoris is so good. Hopefully you guys get some Lycoris already. If you guys have been pulling a little bit, uh, Lycoris is staple, really really strong. Seoyun and Shinja coming out. You don't need Young Harem here, you don't need supporters here. Just go Striker Rush if you can, right? Chifuyu, Admin, uh, Swords, Fighter, whatever. Uh, if you guys don't have any of these units, you can swap with, let's say, Twins. Uh, can swap with Admin, Swords, Fighter. And then you can swap with, um, let's see. You can also use Replacer Bishop, right? The Striker. Any Striker is good here. Because Nayubin is a Ranger. That Nayubin Shadow is a Ranger. You want to rush him down, kill him fast. So he spawn again. Striker do bonus damage against Rangers, so you guys know, right? So you can see Adele, Lycoris, Veronica, Chifuyu, Kawong, ETC, ETC. Alright, so room 3, I think this is probably the easiest one, I think. This is probably the easiest one out of all the 5 rooms. Now room 4 is going to be a little bit tricky. Obviously, I cannot use this strat. Let me show a different one. Now this is what you guys will have to use in global. Uh, Liumi, Awaken Yuna, Harim, Carl Wong, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the rest doesn't matter. So this is the important one. So as you can see, we have a Sigma and we have Enterprise Ship. So let's show you guys how this strat works. Now this one you can see you cannot exceed 25. You cannot exceed 25 cores, right? Therefore you gotta have admin rifleman or twins and Lycoris 2 cost, 2 cost, 2 cost to help you negate the Awakened Yuna 6 cost right here. This is the most consistent strat. I think a lot of people ask me why I keep using Awakened Yuna, right? Uh, because you want your strat to be consistent. How many of you guys have tried a strat that doesn't require certain units? And then you notice that strat sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes it just fail. You might have noticed that. Alright, so I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys hopefully the most consistent strat. Hopefully, if this strat fails, let me know, right? For any of you guys at all. But so far with Awaken Yuna, I noticed the consistency is like maybe not 100 percent but maybe it's like 99%. I, I almost never see it fail because I usually stack seven times anyways. Uh yeah, so I, I do think that. Awaken Yuna gives me the consistency because she can heal herself. You know, she can heal herself. Kal Wong has the shield. Like, it's just the entire concept is just surrounding the consistency, right? Again, uh, twins. 
I, I'm not trying to show I'm trying to show variety here but twins can be replaced with any other striker admin sword swiper um, Chifuyu I'm pretty sure you can because they are just appearing at the end so same concept you want to rush down the ship right here all right do as much damage as you can and then hopefully uh, I think there's somebody there because the ship is not receiving enough damage somebody is helping take tanking the hits this Glebne is super annoying I wish my Glebne was this annoying but hey, the entire concept is to rush them down. Now again, I think this stage is very very easy. This room. Uh, the first room is the most inconsistent for me. Hopefully I give you guys that 3 strat, it's going to be much safer. Right? So I'm more worried about the first two rooms. The room th room 3, room 4, and room 5. You guys don't have to, don't have to worry if you follow this strat, it's quite consistent. Alright, the last one is this one. The last one, believe it or not, this is the easiest, even though you cannot use Awaken Unit. Now, you can see everything you guys will have except for Rearm Asterosa. Now, just use Liumi and you'll be fine. Alright, Liumi. Again, I don't have chance to show gears right here. Liumi, HP Evasion. I always like to run HP Evasion so she doesn't get pushed back as much. Evasion is better than you guys think in PvE. A lot of enemies actually have low hit. A uh, Carl Wong, Adele. I think I've shown the other, the other gears. Evelyn, I'm going with attack speed as well because not have enough skill haste. Uh, Young Harim with whatever skill haste that you guys have, uh, sixty six percent. Chifuyu with HP defense. Uh, Ifrit with whatever this is. Uh, Spectral whatever. Spectral blaze. Like a race, I think I showed this earlier, right? The best skill haste you have. All right, so let's jump into it. The last one. This is actually the easiest one, believe it or not. Uh, the last room, room 5, even though you cannot use Awaken unit, I find this stage the, the easiest. You just rush them down as much as you can. Hopefully Liumi doesn't die this. I think they have nerfed down stats as well. So usually in the room 1, my Liumi's stats would have gone down way, way more. As you can see, I'm using New Ohio as well to silence uh, the enemy right here. So in case Liumi die here, Chifuyu is out just in time, hopefully. To be the solid main frontline tank. Alright. So the idea here with uh, Neo Ohio is to silence this what's her name? Lee Suyon Shadow. So that if Lee Suyon Shadow casts her ultimate skill, you're done. Right? If you gotta kill her before she casts her ultimate, so that that silence from Neo Ohio slows it down by a mile. Alright, it slows it down by a mile. So now we get more shadows. March, march forward. Alright, Kawan with the ultimate skill. And Liumi with ultimate skill. And that dude is silence. There's a stupid jeep at the back. Ignore that stupid jeep. Alright, so we just march forward. Lycoris is very good. Please build her, alright? She's a good budget 2 cost sniper that helps you in situations like this. So you can sort of like balance it out throughout. Throughout. So yeah guys, uh, with that being said, I think I'm done showing you guys the entire concept of the Shadow Palace 5. If I miss anything, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And I think some of you guys might want to know what gears I have on Awaken Yuna, right? Because I do use her quite a lot. Uh, let me see if I can remember to show my gears on Awaken Yuna. Awaken Yuna will have a skill haste Gordias. That's what I like to run on her, this one. Bam, bam. Yep, so that's it for, for the video. I know some of you guys might not have the the super high-end gears, which is fine, right? Alright, don't compare to me. This is on C-Server account. Eventually, once you get good gears, then yeah, you can do the Shadow Hall 5. Shadow Palace 5 is meant to be end game. I think they are releasing it kind of early as well. I feel like they should de delay this for next month, but I don't know why they're rushing everything. Global is rushing everything, so it is what it is. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoy the guide. If you guys think the guide sucks, hey, Comments below, alright? I want to see your comments. Yo, this guy sucks, but you gotta use Awaken Yuna all the time. Feel free. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Have a nice day. Subscribe, give this video a like. Good bye. I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna hear you tonight. I don't wanna fight you. You don't wanna know if I feel right.